Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review and demo on the new MAC Studio Waterweight Foundation. I also got the MAC 196 brush, which is a flat foundation brush. This was advertised to go along with this in the sense that you can use this to apply this. So many this is, huh? But first I'm gonna go over the foundation and then I'm gonna go over the details of the brush. So if you're interested in this review and demo, then just go ahead and keep watching. Watching. Can we just talk about how stunning this packaging is? I love frosted glass foundations. I think they are so classy. I think frosted glass just makes the product look really nice and modern and chic all at the same time. I know who cares about the packaging. I guess I do. I'm weird. As you can see, this foundation does come with a topper, like a serum would. This is really, really great, I think, for these kind of liquidy foundations because it allows you not to waste product. So people are saying that this is the same exact foundation as the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water, and it is. It has the exact same ingredients. The only difference is that this foundation offers more shades for a variety of skin colors, and this foundation is also $10 cheaper. If you wanted to try the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Water, I would recommend picking this baby up instead. It's cheaper, you have more options of more colors. Now, why is this foundation exactly the same as the Smashbox foundation? Because Estee Lauder owns both MAC and Smashbox. So there you go. It's just in different packaging and with a different brand name smacked on top of it. Do yourself a favor, save the 10 bucks and get the MAC one instead of the Smashbox one. So online, MAC says that this is a foundation that delivers color in an ultra fluid thin elastic gel serum formula. The claims and benefits of this foundation are that it provides comfortable all day wear, provides instant and all day hydration, controls oil, it does have a broad spectrum UVA, UVB, SPF of 30, provides stay true color, non-caking and streak resistant for all skin types, non-acnegenic, dermatologist tested, and oil free. I do recommend that if you do wear a lot of MAC foundations that you don't just get the color that you're used to. You should get color match this foundation because it does run lighter. I am normally an NW13 right now because I'm not self-tanned in any way. When I am self-tanned, I am an NW20. This foundation has three active ingredients and all of these ingredients are sunscreen ingredients, which means that this foundation is going to have subtle flashback in flash photography. So just keep that in mind when you're gonna wear this foundation. All of the other inactive ingredients all end in words that lead me to believe that this is a silicone-based foundation. And remember, when you use a silicone-based foundation, you're gonna wanna use a silicone-based primer as well. Otherwise, it's just not gonna mix well, it's gonna sit on your face, and it's just, you're gonna have a bad time. So I'd recommend using this with the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer, which is what I used it with, or the Benefit Professional, or any other silicone-based primer that you prefer to use. The way that I've been wearing this foundation is using it as a base. So I will just go in with the MAC 196 brush. I don't pack it on, I just simply create a base on my face, and then I go in with my favorite concealer and use that to spot conceal. I use this foundation that way because I do not have perfect skin. So there are some areas on my skin that I want a little bit more coverage, and this foundation you can't Build up, so that's why I spot conceal. Lisa Elridge has a really great video on this method. I will link it down below for you guys so you guys can check that out if you have skin like mine and you really want to wear this foundation. All right, now this is the MAC 196 brush. It is a flat foundation brush. It's a nice brush. It's very dense but very soft. It was marketed with this foundation and they recommend that you use this brush to apply it or use your fingers or a sponge. I wouldn't use a sponge. The sponge really does soak up all of the foundation. I would use a brush or your fingers. Do you need to get this brush if you're gonna be wearing this foundation? 
No. I'm sure you could probably find something in the drugstore that is very similar to this. Real Techniques has a lot of great brushes. Morphe has a lot of great brushes. If you want a higher end brush, then I would recommend the Bare Minerals Precision Face Brush. I think it's still available because I have it and it looks like this. It is the exact same brush, except the bristles are just longer. It works exactly the same, applies the foundation exactly the same, and I think this brush was cheaper. I'll link it down below with the price compared to this one, which is $35. That's a lot of money for a face brush, okay? Save yourself the cash and look for a cheaper alternative because they are definitely out there. Now let's go in the demo and I'll show you guys exactly how I use that method. First thing you have to do with this foundation is shake it very well. And then I'm gonna put one drop on the back of my hand I'm gonna take my MAC 196 brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and start placing it on my face. This foundation does a really great job at covering up all my redness. and I'm also slightly buffing it into the skin I'm just putting enough to create a base I am not trying to cake this on my face it does not look good when you take it. my neck just to blend it in. Now I'm going to take my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color light and I am going to start to spot conceal. I am placing this in areas where the coverage is not that great and I am also placing it under my eyes. Now I'm taking this Real Techniques foundation brush and I am just blending it all out. Blending out all the areas I'm spot concealing and under my eye. I'm going to take the beauty blender and pat it all out, soak up all the excess products. Just to ensure that I don't have too much on. So there's the face with just the foundation and the concealer. I couldn't help but happy dance because I love the way it looks. Now I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier Circuit Brightening Powder with this Real Techniques Setting Brush and I'm gonna go ahead and put that all under my eye just to set. I took my Beauty Blender just to make sure I didn't have any creases. Now I'm setting. Last 
Lastly, I'm going to take this Urban Decay Deselect Mattifying Powder with this e.l.f. Kabuki brush and I'm placing it all over my face just to ensure that the foundation stays on all day. So using that method really creates a beautiful finish on my skin. I love wearing this foundation as an everyday foundation. I've been using it for about a week straight. It's agreed very well with my skin. I don't feel like I'm wearing foundation and I really, really love that. I do have to go in with that Urban Decay D Slick Mattifying Powder around hour five, only because it's so hot out right now in Florida. We're having like 95 degrees plus almost every single day. It starts to cool down. I'm not gonna have to do that as much. So if you were on the fence when it comes to buying this foundation because of your skin being a little bit more problematic than normal, then I would recommend using the method that I showed here because this can work for you. I do believe that this is a great everyday foundation to wear if you want a more natural looking finish and more natural coverage. I don't notice any fading throughout the day. I've worn this foundation on days where I've been out for nine plus hours and it's held up amazingly well. So that is it for this review and demo. What was your experience with this foundation? Have you already given it a try? Are you gonna be giving it a try? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm really curious to know if this is on anybody's radar. If you wanna see more reviews and demos like this one, go ahead and click the like button that lets me know that you're interested. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. A ColourPop haul. It's a small haul because this is my first time ordering anything from ColourPop, but I just had to see their new Back to the 90s collection that they came out with.